Third one, in this video, you have to right triangle. This length is given six, and here is given three. This length is given two units, and the length of the BE is given nine units. Point C and point D are given as elements of line segment BE. The question is, what are the minimum length of the line segments AC and DF? First of all, let's call here X and this length, let's call Y. Therefore, we will calculate the minimum of X plus Y. Okay. To find the minimum value in this kind of questions, we need to linearize the desired length. Therefore, the first thing we should do here is to linearize x and y. Now, the question we should ask is how we can linearize x and y. Of course, by thinking it's symmetry with respect to the line segment B of this triangle. So, if you take the symmetry of triangle DFE like this, And let's extend corner C. And let's call here point K. Then, if we draw a parallel line to the line segment BE from point K, after that, let's extend corner B like this. Here, it must be 90 degrees because of parallel. And let's call here point T. After that, these two angles must be equal because of symmetry. Therefore, if here is a Y unit, that means this length must be equal Y unit. And then if it is two, that means this length is also two. And these two lines should be parallel to each other for X and Y to be linear. So let's call here point M. Therefore, notice that MKDC is a parallelogram. Therefore, this length is also Y. And notice that if it is three units, that means this length is also three units. Notice that the length of the BE is given nine units. That means here is also equal nine, so six units left here. After that, if you focus on this quadrilateral, this quadrilateral is a rectangle, right? So B E K T is a rectangle. That means if this length equal two here must be equal to units. Therefore, if you focus on this triangle, the triangle is a right triangle, so we can apply Pythagorean theorem. So six squared plus eight squared equal x plus y half squared. So 100 equal x plus y whole squared. Let's square root both sides of the equations. That means x plus y must be equal 10 units. Okay. Or you can think like this. Let's call here alpha. This angle is also alpha. And here as alpha because of parallel, and then this angle must be equal alpha. Right? Okay. Let's clear here. So I want to represent this side length as A. Therefore, here must be equal 
6 minus a, right? right? If you focus on this triangle, tangent alpha equal 6 over a, right? Likewise, for this triangle, tangent alpha equal 2 over 6 minus a. Therefore, if we equalize these two equations, 6 over a must be equal 2 over 6 minus a. So 36 minus 6a equal 2a, 8a equal 36, therefore a is going to be 9 over 2. So 4.5. That's right here, a equal 4.5, and here is 1.5. Therefore, if you focus on this triangle, and if you multiply all the sides of the triangle by 2, we can see that this triangle is actually a spatial right triangle with sides 12. 9, 15. Right? This triangle is 9, 12, 15, spatial right triangle. That means 2x must be equal 15, so x is going to be 7.5. And likewise, if you focus on this triangle, if you multiply all the sides of the triangle by 2, we can see that this triangle is actually a spatial right triangle with sides 3, 4, 5. Let's get here. That means 2y must be equal to 5, so y is going to be 2.5. Therefore, the minimum value for the sum of x and y is 10 units. Okay. This was the second method. Now we will calculate the minimum value for the sum of x and y using third methods. First step, let's call here x. That means here must be equal 6 minus x. After that, if we apply Pythagorean theorem for yellow triangle, we get hypotenuse as root 36 plus x squared. Likewise, for blue triangle, hypotenuse will be equal root x squared minus 12x plus 40. Therefore, the length of the AC plus the length of the DF must be equal root 36 plus x squared plus root x squared minus 12x plus 40. For these two lengths, to be at their minimum, their derivatives must be equal to zero. Right? Okay. This expression is also equal root 36 plus x squared derivatives plus root x squared minus 12x plus 40 derivatives equals zero. Let's remind you, if y equal root f of x, the derivative of y is equal the derivative of f of x over 2 times root f of x. Okay. Therefore, if you take the derivative of these expressions, 2x over 2 times root x squared plus 36 plus 2x minus 12 over 2 times root x squared minus 12x plus 40 equal 0. If we simplify the expression, these are again. 
and these are also can. So x minus 6 here. Therefore, if we equalize numerator and denominator, we get x times root x squared minus 12x plus 40 plus x minus 6 times root x squared plus 36 over root x squared plus 36 times root x squared minus 12x plus 40 equal 0. Right? Okay. After the cross multiplications, x times root x squared minus 12x plus 40 equal minus times x minus 6 times root x squared plus 36. If you score both sides of the equations, we get x squared times in parentheses x squared minus 12x plus 40 equal positive x minus 6 whole squared. We know that x minus 6 whole squared equal x squared minus 12x plus 36 times in parentheses x squared plus 36. Therefore, x to the power of 4 minus 12x cubed plus 40x squared equal x to the power of 4 plus 36x squared minus 12x cubed minus 432x plus 36x squared plus 1296. Not that these are same and these are also same. So 36x squared plus 36x squared minus 40x squared equal 32x squared minus 432x plus 1296 equals 0. Perfect. Let's clear here. Next step, if we divide both sides of the equations by 16, therefore we get 2x squared minus 27x plus 81 equals 0. You know that 2x squared equals 2x times x, and 81 equals negative 9 times negative 9. So 2x minus 9 times x minus 9 equals 0. Therefore x equals 9. But not that, x is here, so x can't be 9, because here is 9, therefore x must be less than 9, right? So 2x minus 9 equals 0, that means x equal 4.5. It's right here, 4.5. And here is 1.5. Let's clear here. If you multiply all the sides of the triangle by 2, we can see that this triangle is actually a spatial right triangle with sides 9, 12, 15. Therefore, length of the AC equal 7.5. And likewise, the length of the DF must be equal 2.5. Five. Right? So the minimum x plus y is going to be 10 units. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. Take care and bye bye.